Hello friends and how are you all doing today? My name is Priyanka and let us discuss this question. It says, the angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle. Using above theorem, solve the following. In the figure, O is the center of the circle, angle O B A is given to us as 40 degrees and angle O C A is given to us as 30 degrees. We need to find the measure of angle B O C. Now this is the corresponding figure in which we need to find out the angle of B O C where we are given that angle O B A O B A is 40 degrees and O C A is 30 degrees. Right. Now, first of all, let us prove the given theorem. Here, we need to prove that angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining part of the circle. Right. Let us start with our solution. We are given that a circle with center O and arc AB subtend, sorry, subtending. Subtending angle AOB at the center and angle ACB at any point, let's say C, on the remaining part. of the circle. Right. We need to prove that angle AOB AOB is twice angle ACB. For that we need to first of all Join CO and produce it to a point P. Also, we have joined OA with OB. Now let's start with our proof. Now in triangle AOC, we can see that OA is equal to OC because both are the radii of a circle. Right? OA and OC. So therefore we can see that angle OCA OCA, that means this angle, is equal to angle OAC because they are angles opposite to equal sides. Also, we have angle POA is equal to angle OCA plus angle OAC as they are the exterior angle of a triangle. And we know that the measure of exterior angle of a triangle is the sum of the opposite angles of a triangle. Same. 
hence we know that angle OCA is equal to OAC. So we can say that therefore angle POA is equal to twice any of these two angles because both of them are equal. So we can say that it's twice angle OCA. Being a simple reason as angle OCA is equal to angle OAC. Now in the same manner we can say that angle BOP or POB is equal to twice angle OCB. Let this be the first equation and this be the second equation. Now on adding 1 and 2 we have angle POA plus angle BOP and we can write angle BOP as POB also is equal to twice we have taken two common we are left with these two angles or these two angles so we have angle OCA plus angle OCB that is equal to twice angle this angle angle AOP plus POB is angle AOB right and OCA plus OCB is this whole angle. So we have angle C A C B. Right. So hence we have proved the given theorem. Right. This was the first part of the given question. The second part requires us to use this theorem that we have proved just now and solve the following. In figure, O is the center of the circle. O is the center of the circle. This angle is given to us as 40 degree and this angle is given to us as 30 degrees. We need to find out the measure of angle B. O C. Now here we are given that O is the center of the circle angle O B A is given to us as 40 degrees and angle OCA is given to us as 30 degrees. Further, we know that since O is the center of the circle, therefore OB will be equal to OA as they are the radii of the circle. So, with this we can say that therefore angle OBA is equal to angle OAB and that is equal to this angle is given to us in the question itself as 40 degrees and we will write that angle opposite to to equal sides similarly Angle OCB, since OC is equal to OA with the same reason, therefore angle OCA will be equal to angle OAC and that is equal to 30 degrees as they are angles opposite to equal sides. Also, now we have this angle as 40 degrees and this angle as 30 degrees that we have found out above. So the whole angle BAC 
will be equal to the sum of these two angles. That is angle OAB plus angle OAC. The values are 40 degrees and 30 degrees respectively. So this full angle will become 70 degrees. And if this angle is 70 degrees, then angle at the center will be twice this angle because this is the angle at the center subtended by the same arc PC. So therefore, we can write down angle POC is equal to twice angle BAC because of the theorem proved above. And it is equal to twice 70 degrees, that is equal to 140 degrees. So the final answer to this session is angle BOC is 140 degrees. So this completes the session. Hope you understood the whole concept well and enjoyed it too. Have a nice day ahead.